Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Like always, I appreciate you swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch a review. Tonight, pumpkin beer time. Uh, tonight, got one out of New Holland Brewing Company. This here is their Ichabod Pumpkin L. As in Ichabod Crane, the Headless Horseman. The hero, if you will, I guess, of the Headless Horseman. Little uh, folklore, tell, story, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, this here is coming in at 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume. And according to Untap 26 on the IBU. So, get a look at the artwork there. I did like... Uh, I think last year, I think they've been brewing this for like 20 years. Um, last year was, I think I had like a pumpkin head on one side and like the uh, the black horse's head on the other side, like the horseman's head. Um, and then like, you know, like the pumpkin on one side of it. That can art was sweet. I did look, uh, looked it up and that was the picture for this year's can art, but this is the one that I found. So. Uh, I don't even know why I said that, all that stuff there. So, artwork, pretty cool. I like the ones that actually scream pumpkin L, pumpkin beer, right? This is the second pumpkin beer I've done here on the channel this year. I think it's the second. I think I got four or five of them I'm going to do. Uh, so, this says, brewed with real pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. All right. Cool artwork. Four out of five for the artwork, okay? Definitely cool in the theme, the Halloween pumpkin theme, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so there's a little write-up at uh, Untap. It says, as the leaves begin to change and the weather cools, Ichabod makes his annual return from Sleepy Hollow. Ichabod is named after the classic Washington Irving tale and has the taste of pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg in every sip. Okay, so at the New Holland website, went there and uh let's see here the only article i really found was from 2019 uh let's see here actually says they've been brewing it for 20 years uh and that article is 2019 so about 22 years of brewing this here uh it says one of fall's most legendary pumpkin elves rides again so apparently this is one of the most legendary pumpkin elves available i don't know I've only seen it, um, honestly, last few years, really. Um, I've never picked it up. Uh, I've never been able to get it in a single. I'm always leery about buying a six pack of these pumpkin owls because they're not they're not always my favorite. Same thing with the Oktoberfest, not always my favorite. And I don't wanna get stuck with like five of them when I'm usually reviewing uh, multiple different, um, you know, different uh, styles, not really styles, multiple different um, uh, beers here on the channel, so. Uh, anyhow, uh, looking like a 4.5% alcohol uh, by volume then uh, back in 2019. So I don't know if it's the same recipe every year that they use. It sounds like it probably is. Uh, so what am I going to use there tonight? The New Holland Brewing Proper Glassware. So New Holland Brewing Company. Uh, I never get to use this on the channel because I never, I never review New Holland uh, Brewing uh, offerings. And actually... I don't know if I ever have here on the channel. Now, I've had them before. Probably most uh, uh, famous for, um, oh, what is it? Uh, the, the dragon's milk up here is probably what they're most known for. So, I'm going to crack this bad boy open, see what it's all about. Hey, if you are new to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you became a subscriber. I'd appreciate it if you hit that notification bell down below. I hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Hope you drop a comment down there as well. Share the video, whatever you'd like to do. I'd appreciate all that. And then if you're scrolling through the comments, hopefully there's some comments on this video of some of the other great uh, YouTube channels that, uh, that are out there that I follow. So look at this here. I'll kind of hold it up to, to the light up here. So just, uh, I'm going to call that about a deep amber, deep amber color to this one here. I can already smell pumpkin. So let's get a nose on it. Actually, about two fingers ahead. Very, um, 
Uh, sudsy, uh, dish soapy head in here. There's a mild frothiness to it, but a lot of, a lot of large uh, bubbles in there. So, oh man, that smell of, you know, the canned pumpkin. They can make pumpkin pie, you buy the canned pumpkin, you know, because you don't want to make it homemade out of scratch, out of a real pumpkin, so you buy the can, peel it open, you know, peel the can top off of it, actually cut it with your can opener and pull it off of there. That's what this smells like. Just a nice, real pumpkin. I, I just said real pumpkin, and then I just compared it to a canned pumpkin. But a nice pumpkin pie flavor to this, aroma to this. The nutmeg is really there. There's a lot of nutmeg that I get coming through this. I said nutmeg and what else? Uh, it's just mild cinnamon. Uh, it does say cinnamon, but very mild on the cinnamon. I, I can tell it's there, but that nutmeg, whew, I love the smell of nutmeg when you just crack it open, start sprinkling it out. It smells sweet. Um, does it smell like a beer? Do you get the beer, the, 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 that malty barley beerness? No, you don't get that. It just smells like pumpkin. Pumpkin and nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon in there. So let's get a drink on this thing, see what it's all about. So, four and a half percent alcohol by volume. I thought this would be rather thin, lighter body. It's really not. I'm gonna say this is a full on medium body mouthfeel. I get that pumpkin, spicy, the pumpkin spices, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, um, a lot of pumpkin in here. So if you're the type of person that you don't like pumpkin ales because you don't like that taste of pumpkin in beer, this, you're probably not gonna like this. This tastes a lot like a pumpkin. And I'm thinking back of the last couple of years, the, the pumpkin beers I've had, you know, and I've had a lot of them around this time of the year. Um, this really has a nice pumpkin, an actual nice pumpkin taste to it. Very good. Um, overall, how am I going to score this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Probably going to give it, I'm going to give this four out of five. That's pretty high for me for pumpkin beers. Uh, this is top notch um, for a pumpkin ale. And uh, like, I, like I said earlier, I, or in some of the other videos, pumpkin uh, Oktoberfest, pumpkin beers, they're good for this time of the year. No, I could not drink this all year round, but for this time of the year, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve of them over the course of the September, October time frame. This is definitely one that, that I would uh, definitely pick up and drink again. Um, you know, you had this before. What do you think about it? What are some of your favorite pumpkin ales out there? Uh, if you see this in the area, you're looking for a good pumpkin ale. Four and a half percent alcohol. It's not going to blow you away. I did a, um, a, a yeah, bourbon barrel aged one this year. I'm sure that video is up already. And that was a hefty, that was 10%. That was hefty ABV, you know. This is one I could probably drink like two of them. And then I'm going to be out. I'm going to be pumpkined out after like two beers, okay? So I could probably drink a couple of them. Um, so, hey, I'm rambling now. I don't remember what I was talking about. So I guess I'll wrap this up. Like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. I appreciate you watching.